guys today I want to talk to you about something that's been ringing in my ears since Sunday uh, uh, during our uh, church uh, service and uh, we not only had that service uh, with that message but also we discussed it at Bible study in the evening and it's been it's Wednesday and it's still uh, playing in my ear and I want to just uh, throw it out there and uh, start a conversation with you guys so it's gonna be a short video today and I'm gonna hopefully uh, break it down in little pieces because it's a heavy and uh, complex subject. So uh, I'm gonna start with personal responsibility. And I think that we continue the conversation into all areas of our life, but my personal take on that, I'm not a physician. I don't have a degree on psychology or whatever, but this is my personal take on uh, of something that's taking over our society right now which is anxiety heavy heart and a lot of people are carrying a lot of stuff on them and it's um, it's so helpful to have conversations about that because that really helps demystify not only the conversations but also help people and so uh, here's my disclaimer when I talk to you when I put out videos when I have conversations uh, individually with my friends I come from a world view a perspective where I believe human beings are created by God for glorifying him for living a life of purpose and uh, so that's my uh, point of view that's how I begin my conversations that's how I begin my day that's how I live my life I live from that lens of perspective so uh, this is my disclaimer to tell you where I'm coming from when I put things out there that's how I believe for me and for you as well whether you believe it or not I believe that's for you as well if you choose not to believe in that if you believe in something else that's your that's your belief system but I believe that is for you that you were created and that you have a purpose and that everything that you're going through um, has a reason for you to be able to not only learn for yourself but also to help your circle of influence the same thing for me I believe that I was created for a purpose to glorify God and to also be of influence in the circle that I have been placed in for through my circumstances and uh, that I can learn from others the same way that they can learn from me. So that's how I, that's why I um, share these things that, that are in my head while I'm taking my walk or I'm uh, meditating that because I believe that somebody can learn from my mistakes. So um, here's my perspective on this epidemic of heavy heart and anxiety in the world. And this is something that um, was touched on uh, during this Bible study and also at service. Um, there is a massive amount of sadness and bad things and horrible things that are in the world and we just can't fix it all you know there's some things that are going on in my life personally there's some things that are going on in my circle and there's some things that are going on worldwide that are just so heavy for us to even uh, consider and then we feel so powerless in fixing it and so I believe that, and there's so many uh, speakers that are talking about this right now, personal responsibility. So we start within, it starts within us. I'm gonna give you an example why I'm saying this. Um, Sunday morning, I woke up and I my, my index finger was um, hurt. It, it was kind of blue and swollen and I couldn't bend it. And um, it, I don't know what I did, but I woke up like that. And I complained to, to Ray, it was hard for me to cook it was hard for me to eat it was hard for me to write it was hard for me to do my makeup and my hair because it's such a pivotal finger <laughs> like it's my right hand and I use my right hand for everything so it was just this little joint but it bothered me all day long and even if I, when I was sitting it was throbbing throbbing so it was hurting and it bothered me the whole day and I was I was annoyed at that that it was bothering me and I didn't I mean I, I knew I had to wait for it to be fixed and I fixed it another way but I'll tell you another another story about that but another day but um, it was just one joint that bothered my whole being and it also made an impact on my husband because I wasn't mean I was just a mean person because I wasn't paying the whole day let's transfer that experience to who we are as people in our circle of influence and how we can influence others so this was a negative influence that I had in my household for that day because of a pain sin behaves the same exact way in the body of Christ and in the world when we choose to habitually do something that if we were to sit down and have a cup of coffee with Jesus we would hide from him that's sin okay
okay? So if you're living your life and you're doing the things that you're doing, but there's something that you hide from, from others that you hide from Jesus, that's sin. And so if we choose to live in habitually doing those same things, that's going to sit on our back, the back of our mind because we don't want people to know, but we're doing it anyways. And so that's going to create anxiety in a heavy heart. And so when we decide to live with that and live with that same habitual sin over and over, that's going to affect the my life and the people that are around me. And so talking just a little bit about the body of Christ, when we choose to live in sin and don't deal with that, then we're hurting ourselves and we're hurting the people that are around us. And so that's making a very negative impact. But it goes beyond uh, sin. It, uh, it goes on into the other aspects of our lives. When we choose not to take a decision, to make a decision to make a change in all aspects of our lives, in our health, in our relationship with others, in our relationship with God, in our relationship with money, in our relationship with uh, our circle of influence. So we, we, uh, we want to make sure that we're making decisions that we're not sticking to doing the wrong thing uh, just because it's convenient, just because it takes us outside of our comfort zone if you have to make a decision and make some changes. So I do want to talk to you guys about that on the next videos. I don't want to make this one too long, but um, I want to keep this conversation open because it's something that uh, when we make decisions on our life to make that into a better, there's some things that we can't make better, right? There's some things that are, uh, it's given to us and we can only make uh, choices on how we react to those things. But there's some things that we can change. And when we choose to change them, we become a better person, uh, not only for ourselves here, in, for me, but for also the people that are around me, the circle, and it keeps going. And we can be an influence in so many lives when we choose to be brave like that. So uh, keep commenting below over here. I want to keep this conversation and keep watching for the other videos that I'm going to be talking about specifically in other areas of our life where, um, you know, when we keep the subconscious without a decision and we don't take action on the things that bug us the most we keep carrying that weight and i believe that have that helps us have a heavy heart and anxiety where we don't have to do that we don't have to live like that so keep um let's keep the conversation put a comment below if you agree with me if you disagree with me and keep watching for the next ones thank you for watching bye